Hi everyone! Many of you seem to enjoy my talent adventure video, so here's a quick rundown on what I got up to afterwards. It was another 28 hours of traveling back to Texas, and I spent a week in Austin where I got to see the Talentless Trans headquarters. It's not a storefront though, it's an office and a warehouse where all of the corsets are stored after they're shipped from Thailand. It's cool to almost follow the corsets from manufacturing to shipping to landing up here at the front end where they're stored and sold to you. This is Jason, who runs headquarters, and he's also really super tech savvy. Beside him is Jolene, who does photography, videography, graphic design, and social media. In there is Josh, who did inventory, organizing, packing, and shipping, and he's training the new person. You already met Sarah in the last video, who's customer support and administration. She's also the resident corset expert, which is why she and I traveled to Thailand together to design the new corsets. There are only four or five workers at headquarters, and remember I said there were only about 25 people at the factory, so it's a relatively small company overall. After a quick tour of the warehouse and seeing how the whole system works, we filmed several new videos for the Timeless Trends website, giving specs on the redesigned corsets and how to get into and out of your corset and all that good stuff. I offered to do the filming while I was there since we were really proud of the work we just finished in Thailand and since I'm already pretty good at being in front of the camera. Or, you know, most of the time. <laughs> Here's a selection of my favorite outtakes. Okay, you're on. If the, if the <laughs> Never not awkward. You also, you also notice that the clock is right under the bus. So what I'm going to do is ask Sarah to raise her arms, and she has already done so because she is psychic. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just don't want to be like, and it'll be like immortalized forever on your website, so that it's cut straight across under the bust. Straight. <laughs> get about that close. Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to undo the bow in the back. I'm trying not to make a knot. And I totally <laughs> made a knot. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any further questions about the length and the differences between the two, there are three courses on me right now. I am Lucy from Lucy's Course of Tree. <laughs> this course is hideous. <laughs> You can just yeah. tell me that I'm being an asshole, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm being an asshole, okay? I'm a terrible person. Ah. Tell me I'm a terrible person. I like it when people call me terrible. <laughs> and now what I'm wearing is the redesigned standard length -like underbust with the hourglass slope. so loud. The hourglass so loud. With copper curls. <laughs> <laughs> I took off for one afternoon in Austin to visit Alexis of Electra Designs, whom I have admired greatly for many years. And we spent a few hours together and went to lunch and to the park. She's been working on a number of projects herself, which is really exciting. Then I traveled from Austin to Dallas, where I stayed with Amber of Lovely Rats Corsetry, and together we made a corset from our late friend Christine's corset pattern, using the fabric that I picked up in Thailand and assembling it using Amber's construction techniques. So it was a blend of all three of our aesthetics, which I talked about in my previous unboxing video. We also filmed an interview, which I uploaded about a month ago to this channel, and the rest of the time I just caught up on emails and edited videos and hung out with her corgi Charlotte and watched far too much Netflix since I don't have it at home. It was really hot in Dallas while I was there, so I didn't take in as much of the city as I originally wanted to, but we did go to the aquarium, and I also met up with one of my old school friends who's now living in Dallas, and we went to the Perot Museum together. In a future video, I'll talk about about my experience at the National American Corsetry and Lingerie Symposium in California, which I went to right after my Dallas trip, as well as some of my adventures in Los Angeles. If you missed my last video about the Timeless Trends factory, Bangkok, and how we redesigned their corset patterns, click here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week for another video.